think for me personally, it was a series of wonderfully unexpected events that just kept snowballing and to this day keep snowballing uh, to get me here. Uh, but initially I would have to say that it started with a very creative upbringing. Uh, we grew up in a house that was very welcoming to all things artistic. We had lots of different music in different languages uh, surrounding us all the time and a lot of literature and art history and films, uh, classic films were very popular in our household. So I think that definitely predisposed me to a level of appreciation for the arts that I was very lucky to get. Uh, from there, I went on to study business at New York University. And while I was studying, I also was very involved in the world of competitive ballroom dance. And in that world, I was completely enamored by just the grandeur and the extravagance and all these costuming and theatrics involved. Uh, it was a wonderful experience and led me to continue studying at the Fashion Institute of Technology where I was certified in couture. And through that program and discussions with professors, I was introduced to this amazing world of fashion illustration. And from then on, I was lucky enough to, through social media and uh, different online platforms, uh, be able to cover uh, Paris Fashion Weeks for different outlets, uh, specifically the couture shows, as well as do some commercial fashion illustration work and that led me to here where I'm using those fashion and illustration influences to start creating some of my own original work. Um, I think my creative process is to this day honestly evolving and developing depending on what projects I'm working on. Uh, there are certain elements that I think stay pretty consistent. I've always had a love of collage, so I try to incorporate that quite a bit, as well as uh, just the simplicity and elegance, I think, of plain ink work. I've really enjoyed that, and I try to keep that kind of elegance of that black line in as many of my works as possible. But in terms of actual style in my work, I think it was uh, greatly impacted and influenced by uh, getting to see the couture shows at Fashion Week and just working in that environment because I think prior to that I had a sense when drawing that you wanted to pack everything from a look into the illustration, you know, the textures of the fabric, all of the layers, the sparkles or whatever other uh, intricacies were involved in the look, but having seen the shows and what so many of the designers are doing, there's the sense of, I guess, gestural fashion in that each look or each garment has that one highlight moment, uh, whether it's the movement or the color or the shine to it. It's kind of that one sometimes subtle element that makes the whole look work. And I think capturing that single element is a very difficult thing to do, uh, but I think that's the kind of difficult simplicity that really has the biggest impact when looking at a piece of art and what I try to capture as best I can. And the short answer would be absolutely. Uh, there have been times where I've questioned it weekly, if not daily. I think we all live in kind of this exhausting state of permanent uncertainty in any creative sphere, uh, whatever it may be, illustrators, uh, fine artists, musicians, actors, whatever it is, there's always that sense of um, kind of a non-conformity, I guess, to a traditional lifestyle that everyone also seems to assume we have. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think it's exactly that. It's a passing thought of 
why am I doing this? Should I be doing this? But it always passes. And you realize that no matter what other scenarios you play out in your head of things that you could be doing, you always come back to this. And I've been lucky enough to have an amazing support system that keeps me on track whenever I do stray into those, um, I guess, more negative thoughts. Uh, but absolutely, it's uh, not an easy career path. And I think it has lows that are maybe lower than the average person's in terms of their career or profession. Uh, but the highs are also so much better and brighter and more exaggerated than I think any highs that people can get um, kind of in a standard work environment. So yes, absolutely questioned, uh, but never regretted. And um, I think it's been tough. I think it's been tough for everyone. That's maybe one solace we can all take in this is that it has affected the world over. So we're all kind of battling with similar uh, problems and worries and just uncertainty. Um, in terms of the restrictions specifically, I think as amazing as this boom of connective technology has been, there's something very different about connecting to someone in person. So of course it's been very difficult not to be able to see our loved ones and our family um, as frequently as otherwise we would have. Uh, but again, I think there's such a just primal need for that connectivity in people that we've come up with all these other amazing ways, whether it's you know, video calls or social media or just a whole plethora of apps and programs that everyone can use. Um, to stay connected and I think everyone's trying to do that as best they can and it's been heartwarming to see. Uh, in terms of actual creativity and the restrictions, I think of course there's a level of restriction in terms of, um, I don't know, but here in New York we've had a bit of a problem getting certain materials, uh, but that's been, I guess, counteracted by the fact that you have now all this time at home and the ability to really think outside the box and look into what materials you have around and try to make the most of it. And in a way, I think creatives in general have been gifted time to a certain extent. I think we're always in this rush to the next job, the next commission, the next project, uh, just to kind of keep things running that now we have that time to stop and really think through what elements we'd like to change, perfect our craft, uh, study different spheres of art that can influence our own work. And I think in general, it's been wonderful to see people try to make the most of a very difficult and horrible situation. I think especially now, it's been a very difficult time for everyone, but I think creatives and all kind of freelancers have been especially hard hit. So as generic as it may sound, I think just to hang in there um, and that we're all hoping better times are not too far away and there's a light at the end of this tunnel. Um, but also maybe to take heart in the fact that through the history of humanity as shaky as we might think our respective creative careers may be. I think there's just always been a need for art. It's always been something that people find comfort and joy and connection with. So whatever field you're in, uh, keep with it and stick to it. And in a way, I think we're in the most stable spheres or professions because Again, it's, it's a form of connectivity and that's something that people will always need and yearn for. And we're lucky enough to be able to provide them with that outlet. So I guess maybe some small 
notion to hold on to, but definitely my heart goes out to everyone that's um, really been struggling now and here's hoping for better days ahead.